So first we're going to take a look at the cruise pilot adjustments we can make for our Cebus monitor. Now cruise pilot is the monitoring system which is monitoring a few variables to then adjust that of our combine speed automatically to then adapt to the crop in front of us. So the way cruise pilot works is as crop is being cut and is being fed up the feeder house, there is a sensor roller in the feeder house which is being moved up and down accordingly to the amount of crop coming through. And this is then going to tell our machine how much crop is actually being present to the machine. Additionally, we can then adjust that of the engine load or the forward speed settings. So to work our cruise pilot system, we can do this one of two ways. We can either access it through the main automatic screen. So by touching the cruise pilot icon, we can select to turn the system off or on and we can adjust our cruise pilot strategy, which we'll take a little look at in a second. To then fully activate the cruise pilot itself, all I have to do is start cutting my crop and then press the A or the automatic button on the joystick. You will then see the automatic light up and you will then feel the machine start to speed off or speed away as the system is enabled. When we're using the main screen and using the cruise pilots, when the cruise pilot is actually enabled, we will see down here our forward speed and our set forward speeds. This is the forward speed that the cruise pilot's going to be working towards, and this is our actual forward speed. We can additionally see this located on the left-hand side of the screen here. We will see the icon light up, so the dial itself will light up green, and we will be able to see where and about our forward speed is located. So for the cruise pilot system itself, there are a couple of different modes we can have enabled. If I go into my automatics menu and select the cruise pilot box, we can again see that previous menu, but in a little bit more detail. The main icon we want to look at is the strategy setting. The strategy is adjusting the way our cruise pilot is working. So with the three modes used, we have cruise control, constant throughput and maximum monitor throughput. Cruise control is effectively me as the operator setting a set forward speed. So for example, if I was to set 3.5k as my target speed, the machine will work its way up to 3.5k and maintain that speed regardless of any of the variables in the machine. I can then see that displayed down here as my target then reaches 3.5k. This is a mode if you want to use a constant speed all the time, constantly for your field. So if we're in the likes of a wheat or a barley crop, we want to keep a constant, maybe six or seven K. Or again, for the likes of me cutting direct maize, if I'm cutting direct maize with a maize header, again, a very good mode to use as it's setting constant speed. Taking a look then at our second setting in our cruise pilot mode is constant throughput. Now constant throughput is taking a look at a couple of different variables on the machine itself. It's not only just looking at the likes of the forward speed, but it's looking at the likes of the engine load, so how much engine load is being presented to my engine, and also my crop level in the feeder house, so my crop layer itself. So this is how much crop is physically coming up the feeder house. With the constant throughput mode selected, the cruise pilot is gonna be constantly working towards these three variables and keeping the machine best strategized inside these three variables. So for example, I can set a maximum forward speed, a maximum amount of crop in my feeder house and a maximum engine load. And the cruise pilot system is then going to be working to maintain in between these three levels. If, for example, I have reached the maximum amount of crop in my feeder house and I've reached my maximum forward speed, however, my engine load is the thing slowing me down or maintaining me, then you'll see a little icon pop up regarding the icon or regarding the system that is holding you back or holding back your cruise pilot. The system itself, using the feeder house amount or the feed layer value, you can see now displayed here. And it has changed from that previous cruise pilot menu of a set speed to now a set crop layer in the feeder house. If I want to save the automatic layer, so the crop layer coming through my feeder house, all I have to do is press and hold the auto button on my joystick. After a few seconds, the Cebus screen will then beep at me and tell me that a new setting has been saved. If I need to adjust any of my other variables, I can go back into my automatics menu and adjust the likes of my forward speed by turning this up or down. I can also then set the likes of my engine load, so the maximum engine load exerted on my machine. So again, if I don't want to maintain 100% engine load and want to turn this down, I can do so, or I can turn this up. 
The engine load itself works to 104%. However, as a good example, I tend to put 100% as the maximum output. The final strategy that we can talk about is our monitored throughput for our cruise pilot. With this mode enabled, my cruise pilot is going to be working the same as it was when it was at a maximum throughput, so it's still looking at the three variables that I set for my machine. However, it's also going to be looking at my loss monitors. So for example, even if my machine hasn't reached the three peaks that I've set, the three parameters I've set, however, my losses have gone past an unacceptable amount. So for example, my sieve losses or my walker losses have surpassed the amount that I've set. Then my machine is going to slow itself down biased of then the loss monitors. So we need to make sure that our loss monitor settings or our sensitivity settings have been saved correctly to what we're actually seeing on the ground around us. Obviously, with the sensitivity of the losses at a higher sensitivity, the machine is going to bias itself backwards a little more than if they were on the lower sensitivity, but then maintaining that loss level that we're seeing on the ground. So again, we can see the three various strategies we have available to us as the cruise pilot, and we can see how we're going to be adjusting that of our target parameters inside the SEBA screen. If I want to change my strategy on the go, I also have the option of clicking into my automatics menu and selecting the strategy mode here. Again, with this mode enabled, our display screen or our loss monitor screen will enable to green, so we'll see the green bars start to pop up. We'll see the icons displayed. If at any time I want to disengage my cruise pilot, I can do this one of two ways. I can move the joystick, so by moving the joystick, this will disengage the cruise pilot, or I can very quickly tap the brakes, making sure not to fully function the brakes or the parking brakes on the floor, but the actual service brakes themselves, I can quickly tap, and this will disengage that of the cruise pilot. A few of the final cruise pilot settings we have available to us are the parameters. So here I can set one of two modes. I can change my unloading mode, which means that when my unloading auger is out and I'm unloading, my machine is going to bias itself back. So regardless of any of my parameters or any of the crop conditions, the machine is going to slow itself down to a set speed to then help my trailer driver maintain a set speed. With this mode turned off, my cruise pilot doesn't disengage or doesn't bring back the speed. It still maintains the current crop level. And I can finally adjust the sensitivity of that of the cruise pilot. So if I find that my machine is maybe not reacting quick enough to the adapting ground or crop conditions in front of me, I can then turn the aggressiveness of the system up. Or vice versa, I can then turn the sensitivity of the system down if I maybe feel the machine is pushing me or lurching me around a bit too much. Finally, I can also set then a learning parameter of my throughput zero point. So this is a learning parameter that needs to be made every season or multiple times a season. The way this works is that the feeder house, when the learning process is set, the feeder house is going to recognize when no crop is coming through it, so then it knows the zero point at which it's set. We need to make sure we've learned this learning process before we start using the cruise pilot system. So from the side of the machine here, we can see the actual bearing and the location of our cruise pilot roller that I mentioned that is in the front of the feed house. Again, this is the roller which has been moved either up or down, depending on how much crop is coming through the feeder house, which is then telling our automatic systems how much crop is readily available. So obviously, the more crop or the higher the yield of the crop that is coming through the machine, the higher the roller will sit, and then the lower the yield, the lower the roller will sit. So this is the positioning which is then adjusting that of our cruise pilot speed. We do also have a few adjustments and maintenance points on the side of the roller as well. We can see on the side of the roller bearings and adjustment mechanisms, we've got a few 500 hour greasing nipples that we need to be aware of. And we do also have an adjustment in the movement of the cruise roller position itself. It has one of two positions. Predominantly in the UK, we have it to a set position which will be set by your service engineers on PDI. However, if we do find that we're cutting very, very low yielding crops, depending on the crop type, we can then move the cruise pilot roller to a lower position so it's more reactive to the crop coming through the feeder house. To do this, all we need to do is slacken the nut section and adjust the tensioning and springs of that of the cruise pilot roller. But again, as I say, this isn't something we tend to be doing very often at all in the UK.